Irene is a process engineer in an offshore oil production platform. She has about one year of experience and specializes in steady state modeling. Her only interaction with Heisis Dynamics is going through a teaching module for depressurization in Heisis Dynamics in college. Alex, the senior process engineer who is a dynamics expert, is on vacation for the next three weeks, but they've been having issues with their compressor. There are a few incidents of power loss. The other day the outlet was blocked and they had to shut down the compressor multiple times due to emergencies. Irene is trying to figure out what is happening with the compressors. I really need to figure out what's going on as soon as possible. We're losing money. On top of that, our IT people installed V8.6. I hope Aspen Tech didn't change up the user interface on me again. Let's see what's new here. Mm, safety enhancements. Activated dynamics for compressors. Activated energy. Wait, activated dynamics for compressor surge? What's this? Oh, the whole workflow is right here. Activated dynamics in Aspen Hysis allows engineers who are typically steady state users to start doing dynamic modeling. It is also useful for experienced dynamic modelers to perform dynamic analysis faster. Activated dynamics, to a certain degree, automates the creation of dynamic subflow sheets. You can get started by choosing configuration for your dynamic subflow sheet from four different dynamic subflow sheet templates including three pre-made ones and an option to create your own template using all HISIS models in the palette. Dynamics of flow sheet is independent of the parent flow sheet and it comes with a simplified dynamic ribbon. Input summary automatically opens and lets you view the automatically completed inputs using pre-made strip charts that you can edit. You can choose one of the four pre-made frequently analyzed emergency scenarios to create your own sequence of events in the event scheduler. When you click Run, results forms automatically open up. You can see that there are three strip charts and the compressor curves with compressor operating trail. Rewind button available within the subflow sheet environment resets the simulation back to steady state values or the values that you set. If you'd like to visualize compressor operation near the surge region, you can input cubic compressor curves and you can see compressor behavior near the surge region better. The operating point can move from the normal range to the reverse flow range and back. This new feature is intended to lower the bar in creating dynamic models effectively and quickly, encapsulating expert knowledge in the software and eliminating the need for expert knowledge as well as allowing for faster transition between steady state and dynamic modeling. It also enables users to troubleshoot potential operational problems easily with an ability to model non-steady state scenarios and to visualize dynamic operation.